everyone. Today I wanted to do a little intro for this final episode and kind of um, last thoughts on what happened to Rocky. As I mentioned, and if you missed those videos, I'm going to have a playlist down below where I explain how I realized that something was wrong with Rocky, what I thought it was in the beginning, what it ended up being, what he looked like as he was going through it, and the treatment, and all that is kind of covered in the first two videos, but today... So Rocky made it till Wednesday, which is today. I think that his temperature is under control. Seems like the antibiotic is working. But I feel like I'm running like a chicken with the head cut off. It's like, I, I feel like I'm running, 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 running and not doing anything. I am haven't even started milking because I just can't. I don't have the energy, so it's easier to keep the babies with the moms. Like what's happening with Rocky is taking a lot of time out of my day. And I'm not complaining. I mean, I am gladly doing it as long. He's little by little showing some improvement, even though right now I'm showing you and it looks so 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 sad but um it was worse and this is an improvement and the vet said that if he made it to day four of antibiotics so the first full day of antibiotics was monday then tuesday today is wednesday so today is going to be his third day of antibiotics around the clock so tomorrow would be the fourth day, which would be Thursday. So by Friday, we should start to see more noticeable improvement. And I'll, if you want to tag along, I'd love to share my horrible experience with you, heartbreaking experience with you, with the hopes of sharing this information and uh, hopefully help somebody identify the signs. But today I wanted to close this uh, chapter I guess or a series on Rocky's illness with the great news that he made it. So after I showed you that he was foaming from the mouth, he was paralyzed from one side and he had his tongue sticking out, he was foaming so much that the foam would get into his nose and he couldn't breathe so it was a really really bad first five days so from memorial day until which was a monday until that first friday i thought because the vet said that he would have been dead um, by tuesday morning however he made it and uh, you know, the advice that I got was, well, if we made it, then keep going with the antibiotics, the vitamin B, and the probiotics after three hours of giving the, um, the antibiotic, which is, if you, if you haven't been, been doing the math, it's a full-time job. Because uh, let's say that I did the antibiotics at six, so I would do the antibiotic, vitamin B, and then at nine, I would have had to come back, clean him a little bit just to make sure that he was able to breathe, then give him the probiotics, and then come back at noon, give him the antibiotics, the vitamin B, and then come back at three to give the antibiotics. And what I'm trying to say is, which I'm not complaining, thank goodness, thank goodness, I work from home and I also um, have the ability to take days off when things, you know, when something happens like this and I need to spend the time at home. So 
yeah it was time consuming but at the same time i'm glad that i was able to have that time to be there for him and to give him his medicine at the appropriate times by that first friday he started to show some signs of improvement he was able to move his mouth a little bit his eyes were still kind of frozen and so he wasn't able to see yet by Friday but I started to notice little things, little uh, behavior more than anything, improvements. He was more hungry, he was drinking more water and little by little I started to notice over the weekend how he was regaining some movement in his mouth. Now I cannot tell you exactly when but i'm going to say between monday and tuesday he was in the kennel outside the back bin as i was showing you and he started crying but it's you know taz you can hear him in the background all the time he's so super loud and he has such a high pitch but rocky when he tries to get my attention he has the the, the sweetest and kind of low voice like and that you can't really hear it unless you're nearby so we were burning over there and I started hearing him cry and I thought well that's that must be something bad because I can't believe he's crying after being so bad and so sick and now he's crying so I go and look at him, open the door, and all he wanted was to come out and he wanted to go into the pasture to eat. So grab a super long leash, we put a steak for him, and he was eating in the pasture for about three hours as we were burning. So it was really, really sweet to see him kind of talk to us and let us know, hey, I am feeling better, just in case you were wondering. Then little by little he started improving every single day. By Wednesday I started to do it every eight hours, but little by little I started to space it more and by that next Friday, which would have been day 12 on antibiotics, he was completely off of them and I moved him to the back bin. Um, I kept him in the kennel for a couple of days and then I ended up moving him to the back bin and it was really um, easy to tell that he was okay. He was actually kind of crying to be with his brother. His brother would sit by the fence and they kind of talked to each other from his kennel to the fence line and it was just the sweetest thing. So I knew he was ready. He was eating, he was starting to move his eyes. So I was able to notice that he you know, could see me from a distance and I realized that he still had a <laughs> these twins are so synchronized that they kiss me at the same time they're so, so crazy I know I know I know I know we love each other right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. stop it you're tickling me You hear what you want? Get this from Grumps? You jealous of all those children? One of the things that I mentioned in the last video was that I never had to prop him sternal because he never lay down to die, basically. If you know goats, goats are very um, easy to give up when they get sick and it's like they're always, you know, there's that saying that says that they're always trying to find a way to die basically and he never gave up he was constantly up he was up you know for i would say the good part of four days i've never seen him lay down i don't know if it was uncomfortable for him to lay down or what it was but I, all i can tell you is that he never gave up and because of that i was able to give him the medicine and the strength and what he needed to get better so this is a good good ending for um what could have been a terrible story but i'm happy that i am able to show you that even in some of the worst sickness you are able to help 
if you catch it in time and you know if your goat is not giving up on you and you know there's a lot of factors but there is hope i guess that's what i'm trying to say with this video despite that despite the fact that some of the illnesses that goats get and are very much fatal there's still hope that you can do something about it and you know try to keep your expectation not too high because you never know but uh, it's just one of those things that there is hope and I am so super glad that he was you know the exception to the rule that he looks very happy he really really wants to breed the twins every time he walks by this fence, fence line they're over there I don't know if you can see them they're over there but every time he walks by this fence line to go and eat in the pasture he is oh my gosh somebody got stuck in a bucket a thief <laughs> You can make this stuff up, I promise. You want water, honey? Okay. Where are your children? Where are they? Go find them, sweet girl. Go find your kids. Oh my gosh. Mothers. Are you gonna be a good mother, Bree? Are you gonna be a good mama? This is Clara. She is pretty, mm -hmm. all pretty, pretty, pretty girl, pretty, pretty mama. This girl loves when I touch her teeth. <laughs> Come here, we'll teach the people how inappropriate you are. Look at her. She opens her legs like, oh, this is exactly what I needed. A teeth massage. Yep, 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 yep. You have teeth. Down here, you have teeth. You have teeth. They're right here. Boop, boop, boop. Massage, 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 massage. Enjoy your summer as a single girl. Then you're getting a boyfriend who's not gonna massage your teeth.